Another day, more fraudulently incorrect misinformation from CNN, the network president Donald J. Trump calls very fake news. Now, CNN has demonstrated its anchors are literally willing to push fraudulently untruthful information on air and are refusing to do anything to hold the purveyors of its latest very fake news accountable. This time, anchor Allison Cam wrote a falsely claimed in an exchange with ex-Trump campaign communications director Jason Miller that President Trump would have approved the Uranium One deal that former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton pushed through. That deal saw the Russians gain control of nuclear energy company Uranium One through multiple transactions over several years, as a steady stream of millions of dollars poured into the Clinton Foundation. Clinton, as Secretary of State, approved the transaction that placed the Uranium One assets in Russian control as the donations were being made to her family's foundation. The Uranium One deal is actual Russian government influence in the United States of America, not the phony fake news about the Russian meddling in the U.S. election that the entire media is up in arms about surrounding Trump, and appears to be a place where the Russians had significant interest in seeing Democrat Hillary Clinton win the election. President Trump made that point recently, as well. So, when Jason Miller was hammering that point home on CNN on Thursday, Cam wrote his nonsensical response was first to call it just a talking point. What we did know at the time is that Secretary Clinton had been very much involved with the Russians, as we talk about the Uranium One deal, which was very scandalous and maybe there was, Miller said, for a transcript posted by News Busters. We keep hearing that talking point. We understand that you guys keep bringing that up, Camrota shot back. Miller fired back at Camrota, asking her, so you don't think the Uranium One deal was a big deal? At that point Camrota offered up entirely indefensible fake news. And you don't think President Trump would have approved the Uranium One deal, the person who doesn't want, we hear his administration doesn't want Congress to keep sanctions on Russia? Camrota said. The suggestion that Trump would support the Uranium One deal that Hillary Clinton backed and nonsensical, a White House aide told Breitbart News. If Trump knows anything, it's what a good deal for the American people looks like, a White House aide told Breitbart News when sent the cam wrote a fake news video. It doesn't take more than a glance to see this was anything but a good deal for the American people. Fraud news wrong again. CNN spokesperson Army of Emily Kuhn, Lauren Pratapas, Richard Huddock, and Liza Pluto have not responded to a detailed set of questions from Breitbart News on this matter. They have not answered whether Camrota will make an on-air retraction of the very fake news she pushed, or how she could seriously have made these fanatical claims to begin with. Kuhn, Pratapas, Huddock, and Pluto have not answered whether Camrota actually based the demonstrably fake news statement on any real reporting whatsoever. The Army of CNN press flags have also not answered whether Camrota will still be allowed on television after she has demonstrably pushed fake news or whether she will face any other consequences for her actions. This is the latest in a lengthy Breitbart News investigation into CNN's very fake news scandal tearing the network apart. Three senior editorial staffers have already resigned as a result of Breitbart News's investigation. More details are forthcoming.